Greetings, everybody. Get your King James Bible. Turn to Jeremiah chapter 16. Uh, this is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Verse 1, Jeremiah 16, verse 1. The word of the Lord came also unto me, saying, Thou shalt not, thou shalt not, Take thee a wife, neither shalt thou have sons or daughters in this place. Now, did when Jeremiah, according to legend, Jeremiah left the land of Israel and went to Egypt and supposedly went to uh, Ireland. Did he have a wife there? I don't know. But uh, all I know is he was told not to take a wife for uh, in Israel. Verse 3. For thus saith the Lord concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are born in this place, and concerning their mothers that bear them, and concerning their fathers that begat them in this land. They shall die of grievous deaths. They shall not be lamented. Why are they aren't why are they not going to be lamented cuz there's not going to be anybody left to lament them neither shall they be buried because there's nobody to bury them but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth uh, if you don't know what a dung is a cow eats grass with its mouth and then out the other side comes cow dung yeah you never know when kids are listening. So, yeah. But they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine, and their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven. Vultures, anybody? And oh, by the way, eagles also will eat uh, carrion, you know, dead bodies. Eagles aren't proud. Hey, they're like, hey, free meal, dude. Cool. So, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine, and their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. For thus saith the Lord, Enter not into the house of mourning, neither go to lament or nor bemoan them. For I have taken away my peace from this people, saith the Lord, even loving kindness and mercies. So the Lord's taken away their peace, even his loving kindness and mercies. Doesn't sound like a good place to be, if you ask me. Both the great and the small shall die in this land they shall not be buried neither shall men lament for them nor cut themselves nor make themselves bald for them uh, shaving off your head was a sign of affliction and mourning and no not mourning as in before afternoon no neither shall men tear themselves for them in mourning to comfort them for the dead neither shall men give them the cup of consolation to drink for their father or for their mother thou shalt not uh, thou shalt not also go into the house of feasting to sit with them to eat and to drink yeah while they're feasting little do they know that uh, Famine and war is coming, and death. Verse 9. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will cause to cease out of this place, in your eyes and in your days, the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride. 
So, the voice of gladness, the voice of the bride, the bridegroom, gone. Verse 10. And it shall come to pass, when thou shalt show this people all these words, and they shall say unto thee, Wherefore hath the Lord pronounced all this great evil against us? Or what is our iniquity? Or what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord our God? Verse 11. Then shalt thou say unto them, Because your fathers have forsaken me, saith the Lord, and have walked after other gods, and have served them, and have worshipped them, and have forsaken me, and have not kept my law. And ye have done worse than your fathers. So not only were their fathers bad, but they were even worse. And ye have done worse than your fathers. For behold, ye walk everyone after the imagination of his evil heart, that they may not hearken or listen, that they may not hearken unto me. Therefore will I cast you out of this land, into a land that ye know not, neither ye nor your fathers, and there shall ye serve other gods, day and night, where I will not show you favor. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, The Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, and from all the lands whither he had driven them, and I will bring them again into the land that I gave unto their fathers. The land of the north. People, what land is north of Israel? Asia Minor and Europe. Listen to this. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands whither he had driven them, for I will bring them again into the land that I gave unto their fathers. You know, it's going to be the Messiah that brings the children of Israel to the land. Not uh, the United Nations that created that little nation state in 1948. Uh-uh, not that one. Uh-uh. Verse 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. What's a fisher? So, what are fishers? Well, let's take a look at the book of Mark, one of the Gospels, chapter 1, verse 1. The beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. And I believe that's in Isaiah. Verse 4. John did baptize in the wilderness and preach the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. And there went out unto him all the land of Judea and they of Jerusalem and were all baptized of him in the river of Jordan confessing their sins boy if I had to confess all my sins uh, we'd be here for a couple of years and John was clothed with camel's hair 
and with a girdle of a skin about his loins. And he did eat locusts and wild honey. Can you imagine John the Baptist going to a Baptist church? They would throw him out. How dare you come into the Lord's house dressed like that? You should be wearing your Sunday best and honor the Lord. I could hear it now. They're a bunch of hypocrites, if you ask me, at least most of them. But then again, it takes one to know one. And he did eat locusts and wild honey and preached, saying, John the Baptist, saying, There cometh one mightier than I after me, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose. I indeed have baptized you with water, but he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized of John in Jordan. And straightway coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens opened and the Spirit like a dove descending upon him. And there came a voice from heaven saying, Thou art my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And immediately the Spirit driveth him into the wilderness. Guess what? There's no uh, distractions when you go out in the wilderness, in the desert. It's just you and the Lord. That's it. Verse 13. And he was there in the wilderness 40 days, tempted of Satan, and was with the wild beasts, and the angels ministered unto him. Now after that, John was put in prison. Jesus came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel. The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel. Verse 16. Now as he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon, now remember Simon's uh, name, he was called Peter. Simon Peter. Now as he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew his brother casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. Yeah, they were fishermen. They were casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. So instead of casting fish, catching fish, they're going to catch men. And I will make you to become fishers of men. And straightway they fortook, forsook their nets and followed him. Is there a second witness? Uh, how about Matthew chapter 4, verse 17? From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he saith unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. Back to Jeremiah 16. 16. Jeremiah 16, 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. You know, they're going to fish for the souls of men. 
for the children of Israel. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. For mine eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face, neither is their iniquity hid from mine eyes. And first I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double. Oh yeah, they're gonna get they're gonna have to pay twice. Because they have defiled my land, they have filled mine inheritance with the carcasses of their detestable and abominable things. O oh Lord, my strength and my fortress, and my refuge in the day of affliction. The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth, and shall say, Surely our fathers have an inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. Shall a man make gods unto himself? And they are no gods. Therefore, behold, I will this once cause them to know, I will cause them to know mine hand and my might, and they shall know that my name is the Lord. And that's the end of Jeremiah 16. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God, slain from the foundation of the world. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.